Welcome back. Stasis 23 here, back again with some night therapy. And uh, in front of y'all today is a grail of mine that I've been chasing since uh, last year's Blade Show when the prototype of this was, was uh, debuted. And I missed my opportunity this year. And somebody had this one on their, uh, their IG page trying to sell it. And I ended up doing a partial trade with them and getting a killer deal, I think. And let's, let's check it out. I'm super excited about this one. Just came in today. So this is going to be a first impressions of a grail of mine. You ready for this? Bam! Oh, yeah. Now, I will say, when I first saw the pictures of this on his page, I was like, ah, uh, I'm going to have to immediately change that anno. It's a little bit too, too much for me. But once I got this guy in hand and, you know, really took all that in, Basically, it's a polished uh, high voltage blue, I think. I'm not sure. I'll see what it says on the thing. But in person, it's stunning. It's a piece of pocket jewelry. You got the, the other blue to set off. This is like a greenish blue. And he's got, let's see what he calls it on his pay, on his thing. This is the certificate of authenticity. This is the Semper. M390, a high voltage glossy rocks is the pattern. So, blue, excellent, excellent. And this thing's pretty much brand new. So, there you go. Uh, one thing that I asked him right off the back because whenever you order these direct from Eugene, you can, you can get certain things like you know, you can get the, the color you want, you can get a pattern. The baseline of these were just a plain tie. I think it goes for $3.95. And these are, I call these kind of like high-end production, maybe mid-tech. And uh, they do all the finishing touches. So they have a lot of custom touches to these knives. And the first question I asked him, because this is something that I checked out at, at Blade Show, is what type of detent he had. And I didn't want to say which what I was looking for. Because I want to know, you know, what he called it before he even he even knew what I liked. And he said he went with the medium detent. And that just, that sealed the deal for me. I knew that's what I wanted because for me, whenever it was a stronger detent, it was harder for me to spidey flick it, which I can do perfectly, and use all the deployment methods. Look at that nicely done satin blade. Beautiful job. I like the clip point or whatever, you know, the clip sheep's foot, rather than the um, the blade that kind of looks like the Pilar blade. That's just my favorite. You had the M390. Nice satin. I would have liked to see these grind lines pop a little more. They almost look washed out, but not too, too bad. Um, very, very well done well manufactured knives I handled all kinds of different models and one thing I like about this high voltage blue is you can rub it and being that it's polished as well you're not going to lose the color or it's not going to change color as much as say a low voltage bronze or something like that that the oils will turn it like purple and stuff that's the one good thing about your higher voltage colors and especially with this this uh, rock pattern on there. It's going to throw, it's going to give you that two tone effect on colors depending on where the, the light is hitting uh, the scales. You know, like right there, you get these blue hues. And when you flip it this way, I don't know if I can show you in camera, you get the green all along here. And then right there, you get the blues with the greens. Very, very cool. I'll try to get some shots of it outside. If you'd like to see that kind of stuff, check my Instagram. I haven't posted this yet on Instagram because I want to get uh, a picture, I mean a video up before. So here you go. And I'll say right off the bat, this is exactly, exactly how I would have ordered it. I probably wouldn't have went with this color just because it's a little bold, but I I'm kind of glad he went with this color. I like the way it looks now. Um, and another thing that I noticed that it's not super thin behind the edge, but it came wicked sharp. Let's see. Wicked, wicked sharp. I've done a good bit of cardboard cutting with this, and 
it just it glides through the the cardboard no problem whatsoever you do have a decently thick stock you know all those things kind of worried me about how well it was going to cut you got that floating rock backspace surge thing that looks so good this is the probably the nicest knife i have or you know as close as a custom that i currently own especially with all the embellishments on here just very very nice super smooth action drop shut action uh, i haven't taken this guy down or anything i can spotty flick it i love the way i can easily slow roll it it feels like it's gliding on glass butter on glass that that front flipper is executed just perfectly i like how this front flipper it has a little scoop right here and the perfect jimping to where it's not going to tear up your finger but one thing that i like on this one and like the booze blade smoke is i like how you can slow roll the front flipper some front flippers the tab is too low and by the time you get it right there the tab has disappeared into the handle and you can't open it any longer you just kind of got to flip flip it out um let's get a few quick size comparisons of this this beauty let's see uh first one kind of look a little similar not really but a little bit you got the viper lil these two are pretty close in size the lil is just a tad bit bigger not by much it's showing you the the busker is a small knife and that's that's my sweet spot now ever since my accident this is my sweet spot this size range, it just makes a lot of sense for me, and I'm gonna do another video of that talking about that here soon. The Spider Co. Techno, and the Techno reminds me of the Busker a lot as well. It's just a chunky monkey, and those two are almost—they look like they're identical in size. Um, you know, the Techno may be a little bit bigger. I can't really tell. Techno is definitely a broader knife, and it's an overall thicker knife that's another thing cool about the busker it's nice and slim and this in in thickness and uh even closed it's not super super wide i mean i have i definitely have knives that that you know make this knife look puny in the width department um another good size reference the best tech goblin another one that is in the rotation often now the Goblin has about the same size handle and you have that forward choil and even though this one's not like, doesn't look like a designated forward choil, you have this forward spot to put your finger on, but the Goblin has a smaller blade, you get more blade length and the Busker or the Simper. Another higher end knife, the Strider PT and the PT is a good bit larger I didn't think there would be that much different but you do have this tail end right here um, you probably have yeah you have more blade length and the busker so you just have a bigger handle on the PT two more quick references got the Spyderco Reinhold Rhino those two are I think they're exactly the same size and one more last one. This is uh, probably the closest you can get to a production custom looking knife besides something like this. Is the produced by Wee Knives, designed by Berg's Blade Iron Pup. Mini Iron Pup, whatever. So there you go. Um, yeah, I, this knife right here could possibly replace the knife that has been the mainstay in my rotation for the longest period of time. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing a video about that either next, it either come before this one or after it, but it's that good as far as being right for me. You know, if you have big hands or, you know, you don't like small knives, then just X this one out. This is not the knife for you. But if you like sub three inch knives, uh, you like high quality, you know, semi-custom knives, then this is possibly the knife for you. Um, ergos in hand, as long as you use that little choke-up spot. Now, you do have to be careful because it's not, you know, dish right here, and that is some nice and sharp M390 right there. So I used it. You just be careful. Back here, it's 
it's not, you know, you don't get the most, you know, you get a, a three finger grip, but the way this thing swells out right here, you do, do get a pretty decent three finger grip. So not bad whatsoever. Um, let's see any other, any other things I want to talk about. Uh, you get a big old lanyard hole right there. Like I said, um, you just, it's kind of takes you a little while to get used to the front, like the thumb flick. See, as you can see, it's kind of just because it's like it's farther back than than most knives. Like, for instance, this knife, you, you got it up here and this one's so far in front. It's the first time I've ever really seen that. But I understand why he did that, because if he did it up here, it'd be hard to do your, your spidey flick, which is probably my favorite method. And then you, you got this deployment. And I, whenever I'm not on camera, I can get this. Yeah, there you go. It's just a different technique. It's kind of, you got to push like out. There you go, out and away. And it's just going to take a little time to get used to. But super, super happy with the purchase. Um, y'all tell me what y'all think. Love the, the bag style pocket clip. It goes in and out of the pocket very nicely, especially with this... Um, this polished titanium. Only thing that I did notice that I would have rather see a little bit later is that lockup. That is a pretty early lockup. Now, it looks a lot earlier than it actually is because you have a lock bar insert. So if you can see that, it's probably around 25-30%. I would have much rather to see, let's see if I can push it over. That's as far as I, well, no, I didn't push it over. But I would much rather see it 100% uh, engagement underneath that tang. But it'll wear in over time. And if not, the cool thing is, is that I can just send it to Eugene and he will have you fixed up, taken care of. He was a super nice guy. I met him, talked to him for a long time at Blade Show and uh, just gave me confidence in buying one of his products. I reviewed the, 20, uh, the Wayfair 24-7. And that one wasn't really the knife for me. I don't know if the the one that I had was just not in good working order, but it just it didn't feel right for me. It's it's a little bit bigger and it's a heavier knife. But like I said, last year at Blade Show, uh, Shabazz talked about it as well. Whenever I handled the prototype of this, I did all kinds of begging and pleading for him to let me buy that knife. But I don't I don't even think if you would have had a big old bag of money with you he would have let you well he might have <laughs> there's always a price but now that i got one in the collection i think this is going to be a permanent mainstay unless i buy another one or something but <laughs> for now this is this is it so y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think uh, if you own one let me know what you think about yours i couldn't be happier i said in the next video or one video coming I will show you the knife that this may end up replacing because I do have a knife that's in my collection that has had the longest reign in my EDC rotation without getting kicked out or coming back in very quickly and this one might just be that new knife. So I hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it with all your friends and family and your social networks. And uh, if you're not already and you like these videos, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I have a new video, especially you don't want to miss uh, the 2,000 subscriber video. I'm, getting, I'm slowly creeping up on that 2,000 subscriber marker, and it's going to be an epic giveaway. I can't tell you I can't tell you a whole lot right now, but once once things start to get worked out and we have a more definite answer on some of the prizes, I will fill y'all in. And like I said, you're not gonna want to miss it. It should be epic. And it's it's an appreciation for you guys and girls out there watching my videos, supporting me, commenting, interacting with me, and make this all worthwhile. Alright, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.